Hey, 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 my friends, we are back here again together with another exciting day to solve puzzles together. So we win that night for free, right? What can... What do I don't know? We just captured the knight with the queen, then what? Mm. Um, we are just off a piece. What is going on here? Why it's so easy? Do we have something even better than winning a piece? I mean, we capture the knight, then queen goes away, attack, rook attacks our queen, but we have time to move the queen somewhere and then survive. I don't see anything because there are just plenty of rooms. I just don't see... What can go possibly wrong here? Let me capture then think. Ah, okay. This check. All good. I just move away with the king. Okay, here is important. Where do you want to go? Of course, I don't go there or I go there. I can go there on F8 and H8. And... Yeah, uh, of course, h7 is not possible because it gives a check with the queen and then it gives a check at d3 with the queen and then wins over queen. But what's the difference between f8 and h8? Why it is a puzzle here? So the one thing about f8 I notice is that if by any chance queen of white can move to somewhere like uh, h5 then next move can mate on f7 so suppose i go to f8 and then white moves the queen somewhere and i have to move my queen away then this gives chance to white to bring the queen somewhere like g6 or h5 so i should be careful and what about h8 h8 seems to be very safe because single move doesn't help the queen of white to be in a mating position so i would say that without further ado we can just simply do this and then think okay here says that I want to win your bishop. I say, no, please don't win my bishop. I saw this could happen. But I thought that we should have an easy way to save the bishop. But is there an easy way to save the bishop? Because I cannot defend the bishop with the queen, right? I cannot just go there and defend the bishop. First of all, I should move my queen away because rook is attacking. I cannot go there because push the pawn on b4 and attacks our queen. Then what can we do? I can, of course, grab this rook and takes I take back. But then, then, then again, I should defend the bishop. Another direction I see is that I can play bishop there takes my queen, I take the queen, takes my rook, I take the rook, then takes my bishop. So it doesn't sound like like plan, right? That, that's not what we call it a plan. Uh, what else we can find here? Of course, I can attach, uh, attack the queen, but then takes my bishop. So, it's, it's getting complicated, actually. More complicated than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. What to do next? Grabbing the rook, grabs, grab. We check. Okay, I can grab the rook. I think this is the easiest way, right? I can grab the rook. Grabs, grab. 
And now I can simply defend my bishop by this way, for example. I don't see a way for white to be able to attack. Or can I? Oh, wait a moment. I thought that I will grab this with check, but I don't. Hmm. Oh, unlucky me. I, <laughs> I didn't see the continuation, but I did the continuation. So I can attack the bishop, right? I can attack the bishop. If it takes, I take. And yeah, that's fine. If it takes either bishop, I take its bishop. Oh, it was extra hard. Interesting. So here, I think we should be a little bit patient here. We give a check with the queen, moves the king away. We give a second check with the queen, brings back the bishop, we give a check. We take the pawn with the rook attacking the bishop. Oh, it's very mating net, right? The only thing I should see is that you should notice is that whether black has a chance to give us a devastating check, to give us a dangerous check. What I'm thinking about is to take this one. King goes away, then take this one because mm, the pawn on f pawn is pinned by bishop on d5. f7 pawn is pinned. So we give a check. The only sane move for black is to is to bring the bishop back because if it if the king goes to h8 i give a uh, third check and then this time i grab the bishop with pawn and it's a mate so but what happens is that i take take and then place bishop g7 after bishop g7 what i was thinking was to take on f pawn with the rook or with the bishop either either way mm, i don't know which one is the best oh with the bishop is the end right i take 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 with the bishop it's forced to take yeah the, otherwise it's a mate takes with the rook i take with the Queen, yeah, it's a mate. Looks like a mate, right? Yeah, let's do it. I take. Oh no, man, why? No, don't tell me that I had to take right. No, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I just want to understand why this was wrong. Okay, let me analyze. Okay, let's first finish the game. Okay, I take, goes there. I had to take. And then after takes. No, this is not the move. I think I should take this one. No, I don't know what's the move. Uh, actually, my plan is completely different. Ah, this is the move. Ah. Why it doesn't work? Yeah, of course. Okay, what what I want to analyze is that why I was wrong. I take, I take. Oh come on, man! I didn't see this bishop. <laughs> oh man, that was very bad. That was very bad. Can't believe it. Uh, okay, keep eye on backward pieces. This is very difficult sometimes to see. I was thinking that because if this wasn't this bishop around attacking our queen, then it was obvious mate. What I want to say is that if it was playing something like this, for example, then this one, king goes there, this one. Oh, still this bishop is there. I didn't see this bishop, but suppose this bishop wasn't there, okay? Then had to do something like that, and then this was basically mate. But I completely missed this bishop, and this is why. It why I made a mistake? I didn't think deep and I made a mistake. So, what if we just give a check? Captures. Uh, or, or we don't give a check. 
We captured the rook. Oh, we are black. We are mating, basically. We are the one who is mating. Uh, all the time I was thinking, uh, okay, I can grab the rook with the pawn, but we are black. <laughs> so, I can give a check from here, of course. Uh, if we were able to give a check from here, it was a mate, right? But that's unfortunate that we cannot. I can give a check from here. King goes, uh, and king uh, and pawn moves the other way, so that's good. Or I can even I can even go there, for example. Threaten to mate at here, force white to move the king away. Or I can go here, threaten to mate here. I don't know. There are there are tons of options. I can give a check from here, force the king. So if I go here, threatening mate here, it doesn't work, I believe, because mainly because the rook on f1 can jump, uh, f8 can go to b8 and then uh, block my check with the bishop or with the rook. So this is not a proper mate. Uh -huh. Another thing I see is that I go there with the check, king goes away, then my king goes in. And no, it doesn't work, it's a little bit slow. I was thinking I'd be able to bring the king in somewhere like here. And then mate with the rook. But this is a little bit slow because this rook is here, I should move the rook away, you know, it's too much. Okay, don't drop the piece. What if I do a simple move of like moving the rook there and then threatening this. Place rook b8. When I go back rank, uh, place rook b1 or bishop b1. So we don't get anything out of it. If I go, uh, what if I go rook a7 right away? Okay, now let's, let's think deep. Now I don't see immediate approach, uh, immediate sequence to mate. Let's think what should we do. We should try to mate or win a big piece, right? To mate, we should mate in the back rank. And to win a piece, possibly we should win a bishop. So, to mate in the back rank, what if I go there? Because then I give a check King comes of oh this is this rook I shouldn't move at all. The problem is that the rook of white can give a check, can give a check from g8, and and my king goes away, and this is not what we do want to have. We want to be able to have our king around, not expelled all the time by rook of opponent. That's what we want. So, uh, another direction I'm thinking is that I can go there. Yeah, that's it, right? I can go there and then king goes away. Yeah, that's it. It was super easy, right? Because after this check, my king comes in, right? To deliver mate with the rook. And there's no way except to give a check with the bishop and then I simply grab that bishop. And sometimes, sometimes we are, okay, so let me show you, we are overcomplicating the situation. King goes away. It was clear the king should play a role. I should have been 
more cautious if it was doing something nonsense for example this was a myth right so the idea was to bring the king in and we did it okay next move next move here looks like the bishop on a6 is very loose right i can grab this knight grabs one of my knights then i give a check with the queen then then i don't know what's happening actually then we should be doing good so yeah i grab this knight uh, without thinking this is obvious no i'm uh, it seems that grabbing this pawn without no, we check is obvious because yeah we are attacking this rook. What else do you want to do from chess? And cannot defend it with the queen, right? Because if defend it with the queen, then we grab the, the cannot defend the check with the queen because if defends we grab the we grab the rook and we are somewhat up material, right? We are up exchange and position. On the other hand. It could be that it doesn't, it simply doesn't grab it. It moves the king, it cannot move the king to e2, uh, e7, sorry. If it goes to e7, we have a check and win the queen. Definitely, that's not the move. But f7 is a possible move, right? King f7. No, I'm thinking, what's my counterattack against f7? Of course, I have a check with the knight. Yeah, that's it. Uh, king should go back and then we deliver mate. Yeah, that's it. Now let me show you quickly. Okay. After this, I show you what, what, what was happening. If king was trying to be... Oh, we are daily solver. If king was trying to be adventurous and was trying to move. Come on. Why it's so slow? Oh, we reached the new stage. It's too much animation. This is a uh, okay. Uh, this is too much animation. Maybe just as long. okay. The way I took this knight, this is intuitive. It's not possible to calculate everything. But the thing is that you release the queen to escape. Your knight is under attack, so you don't have much time to move. You know. And you know that the knight on f3 is good because it helps the bishop to go there. But this bishop cannot go there because the knight of black is there. So this knight is very annoying in the center. Just grab it. And after it takes, takes. No, suppose, uh, first of all, this is not possible, right? Because, yeah, we win the queen. Second move that I considered was this. But this doesn't work because then we give a check from here. King cannot go here because the bishop, beautiful bishop, comes here. And this is a mate. So the only place king can go is basically here, but then it is again the same scenario. We go there, there, and mate. So this is why I said that king cannot go to f7 and has to give up the rook. Okay, let's go to the next move. My stomach is blurping. <laughs> okay. Here, we should wait like a waiter, right? We should ask white, please push. And um, because we have a passed pawn, we can deliver mate or some, uh, we can push the pawn later. So, what I'm saying right now is that, of course, I can take this one. We can calculate. I can take this one, takes, and then I can go grab the C pawn. But in meanwhile, White grabs the F pawn and because my A pawn is a corner pawn, it's very difficult. Uh, so after the grabbing this the, and White uh, in a long term grabs the F pawn, the only pawn for me le is left is the A pawn and it's difficult to make it queen uh, because White's king is also not too far. Um, this is a corner con pawn and it's not easy to queen it so i can calculate everything or maybe it's difficult but it's possible to calculate 
But I'm thinking about different approach. Be a waiter. Push the pawn to b5. And wait for white to push the c pawn. Once white pushes the c pawn, we captured. Now we should be careful and now we should calculate to be on time to stop A and P, B1 pawn marching together. So we capture, uh, okay, we push, and I don't know what white is doing at this moment. If moves the king, then we also move the king to um, E6, uh, and we definitely win in this situation. We are very close to the pawns, and we have our F1. But if it doesn't move the king, for example, plays, uh, plays B5 after we capture, plays B5. We play, okay, uh, suppose this is captured, push and we capture, we push, push, we capture. Uh, suppose plays b5, okay, ignore this pawn for now, and so ignore the c pawn, plays b5, we play king e6, plays b6, we take, with the pawn, we take with the pawn, push the A pawn, our king is only in E6, not the best place, so it doesn't work, right, we are a little bit slow, we cannot capture it, so another idea is that after push and we capture, place B5, we play c4 goes king uh, e3 we play f4 with the other pawn with this pawn attacking the king we check if takes we push the other pawn if it doesn't take and goes for the other pawn we push this pawn and seems to be very legit right and we are most likely on time. It's a little bit difficult to calculate. But yeah, I will go for it. I will go for it. I push. Okay, okay. Here, white did a different move order than what I was expecting. He didn't push the B pawn. He bring the king back. Now looks easier. Because we can go there and then there. Because no, we have time. We go there and if plays uh, b5, we go there. And we can uh, stop the pawns of white. Right? This is the easy pawn stopping um, scenario. If we push our pawns, we lose. Goes uh, Gets close to this pawn and wins this pawn. It's a little bit difficult to say what exactly happens. But most likely we lose the pawn. But this is very safe. I go there, prevent the king from coming in, and I also prevent the pawns from pushing forward. Or if they cannot, they push, is okay, but it doesn't harm. I go there, push to b6, I take, push a6, I go c6, push a7, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh no, come on, why? Why? This was very easy looking, right? I mean, uh, I guess it wants me to push this one and then go like this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was easier. I pass. I mean, sometimes they should stop the puzzle. Sometimes they should stop the puzzle. But what I was doing is, I don't know, I was saying, I believe it was working as well. I was playing. Uh, sorry, I want to analyze it. No, I don't want a hint or anything, but where, where is it? Where is the analyze? Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know where is the analyze, how can I analyze it? But yeah, that was it. The, the thing is that I calculated my king goes in and can I stop the A pawn. I don't know how in airs White could have been attacking. Ah, I see, I see. 
let me try to get back to this puzzle. We lost some points, unfortunately. Uh, it was 3,200. Uh, we lost some points, unfortunately, but it's a nice constructive end game puzzle. Let me tell you what happened, I, what I miscalculated. I will say that I do this, goes there, I take, mm, takes, I go there. But one thing I didn't calculate is that basically white can capture both of my pawns. White can capture both of my pawns. I saw that these pawns are far apart and it cannot do anything. But white, okay, I can uh, do opposition basically. But white can stop them. They aren't far enough. They, I, I should have calculated. Yeah, I saw that these two pawns, I, at this point, for example, I, I calculated that either the A pawn either goes to here or there, and then I will be managing to capture the pawn. But I didn't calculate that, okay, after I give, uh, after what simply gives off the B pawn, the A pawn, it can stop both of my pawns. I was thinking these pawns are far apart from each other to be stopped, but they weren't. So always we should calculate. This is a lesson we learned today in the end game. I hope you enjoyed. We didn't get much rating point. We actually lost some rating points, unfortunately. Seven point here, 10 points there, and the others were very slow. And okay, this was 3,100, but yeah, it was not too difficult. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and got something out of it. And see you next.